So Ms. Snyder, thank you very much for doing this interview with Religions for Peace International. First of all, congratulations on being Religions for Peace's new Director of Partnership. Uh, could you share with us what motivated you to join Religions for Peace? Lots of things motivated me to join Religions for Peace, not least uh, the uh, good work that I saw Dr. Van Lee and his team doing um, some time back in Jordan. But one of the most um, important aspects of the work here at Religions for Peace is actually that we're working with and through the religious communities themselves. We're not trying to replicate what they do, we're not trying to replace what they do, we're really trying to support them in doing what they already do to the best of their potential. And I love that fact about Religions for Peace. And the second thing actually I really appreciate about Religions for Peace is the way in which we celebrate difference. We're not trying to push everybody through a, a kind of Hollywood factory. We're really recognizing that we are different, but that together we can work for the common good. And I think that's a very powerful trait that Religions for Peace models. Great. Um, the second question, as the new director of partnership, what's your vision for the future development of Religions for Peace partnership? So partnerships for me are all about finding win-win relationships and actually relationship is at the heart of a, of, a, of a partnership, a relationship of trust and I think our primary partners are our religious communities, the leaders and the women of faith and the youth and the grassroots networks. We really want to be able to partner with them so that they can do more effectively the work that they're doing in their own context. Um, and secondly, we want to partner with potential donors and with program leaders in the fields that we work in so that we can together achieve something much greater than we could if we were working on our own. Okay. The third question, part of your job is to coordinate with the international trustees and the Women of Faith Network. What roles do you think they are playing in the mission of Religions for Peace? Well, we could not do this work without our trustees. They are playing such a vital role in many ways. Um, they are providing the financial support that allows us to do this work, and without that we wouldn't be able to do any of the programs that we're running now. Uh, they are also acting as ambassadors, uh, representing us at high levels and introducing us to people that we need to support our work. And, uh, and they're also giving um, their expertise and their skills in business and in communications and law and finance and um, right across a whole spectrum of uh, different uh, levels they are really able to contribute in many, many ways. And the women of faith um, are really the movers and shakers, I think, in this world of peace building. Uh, we often overlook uh, women at the grassroots level, um, and there is so much that we can do to support the women, whether they're uh, community leaders or whether they are mothers in a home context. Uh, we want to work with the religious communities um, to support women and to recognize that uh, they're working within their own tradition, and we don't want to replace that tradition with something else, some other agenda. We want to be able to to support them to be advocates and community leaders within their traditional context. Great. Um, last question. How do you think your leadership at Religions for Peace influenced you personally? I think one of the greatest joys of this job is that there is continuity between my own personal faith commitment and the fact that I'm working with other people who have their own deep and personal faith commitments. Uh, I love the fact that, that uh, we are able to understand and respect one another despite our differences, but we work in a field of faith, um, not in that big secular world that uh, most of the human population seem to work in. So I'm, uh, it's a great privilege to work with religious communities.